Hi guys, Istaria here again. This video works good as a standalone video as well, but it may be especially useful to you people who have been depositing to the Crypto.com app Euro Wallet via TransferWise or just plain wise as it's called these days. That one was probably my very first fintech video on this channel, uploaded ages ago, but still quite relevant as the process works for most people, even though Wise really doesn't like crypto for some reason. If you haven't seen that one yet, you can find the link in the description and in the top right corner right now. Either way, at least the Crypto.com app does not allow you to withdraw your money back to Wise because of how Wise has set their payment structure up. Crypto.com requires a deposit from an account which matches your name and Wise sends their funds from a consolidated account of theirs. You do get the funds, but you cannot withdraw back to that consolidated account because it doesn't carry your name and it isn't yours. So, how do you get to withdraw your funds if you are not in a country that is directly supported or just prefer to use another currency than what is available to you? Perhaps you are using some other exchange or platform which doesn't support fiat withdrawals at all. Have no fear, I have got you covered. Trust Token is a company which issues multiple fiat backed stablecoins. The redemption process works great with services like Revolut and Wise. There are also others who offer this kind of service, but they have introduced fees since I have signed up and Trust Token remains free. So this is one more reason why this video is about them and not someone else. First, you'll need to sign up of course. Since this service deals with regular old world fiat money, you will have to present some proof of identity and at least back in the day they also asked about how and where you earn your money, but the process about that was very relaxed, although super slow. Could have been a one-off thing though, and even if it wasn't, maybe it's better now, almost two years later. Let's move on. Your account has been approved. Now we get to look at the dashboard. The site is very simplified and that's pretty good for what it is. There's not a lot of functionality here, nor does there need to be. Pick your preferred currency and then click on the redeem button. Once there, you will need to set up a bank account to redeem the money to. In this example, I'm using WISE because it's most likely that people who use WISE to deposit will want to use WISE to withdraw as well. Feel free to use this image as a reference, so just pause the video and see where the arrows are pointing to. In short, you will need your name in there as well as your bank's name and address and the routing and account info. Once we have filled this up, we are all set with the fiat part of the equation. So now we are onto the crypto part. The way the redemption works is that you send some true currency to a redemption address on the chain. And as you can see here, they have recently added support for more than just Ethereum, which is a welcomed sight since Ethereum has been quite expensive as of late. The other options may be quite a lot cheaper, but obviously aren't supported as widely. Click on your desired network and it will give you an address to send to. As soon as the system recognizes that the transfer has completed, it will initiate wiring the funds. Once the system alerts you about the redemption via email, you can also look at the status on the redemptions page. Here, since I know all you are very interested in how long stuff takes to arrive, I scour through my emails to see what was what and here are the results. It's worth noting I initiated the process during the weekend on purpose to see what, if anything, happens in the old money world and indeed, although Trust Token advertises fast wiring of funds, fiat money still doesn't move during the weekend. Once it did get sent, however, it arrived to my Wise USD Portalis account in just a few hours, which really was much faster than I was expecting. So, how would I rate this service overall? I'm definitely a fan of stablecoins and especially Trust Token because they offer much more than just a good old USD. In addition, the support for tokens on other chains than Ethereum is great. Flat fee of $7.5 for receiving a wire on Wise ends is unfortunate, but since the minimum redemption starts from a thousand bucks, it still comes to less than 1% even with the minimum and goes down from there the more you send at once. And obviously, you don't have to use Wise. There are other options out there, but WISE has a nice global presence and made for good content for this video. And yeah, let's talk about the minimum for a minute. It's indeed worth to note that the minimum is rather large, but on the other hand that's probably why they are able to keep the service free on their end. Paxos had no minimum and people were sending out wires for 10 or 20 bucks multiple times per day, and look, now it's no longer free and here I am, making a video about Trust Token instead. So I'd rate this a 9 out of 10. 
They'd get a full 10 if the incoming and outgoing didn't have to be a wire, but hey, you can't always get everything you want. And now, we've reached the end of this video. I hope you liked it and that at least some of you will find it useful in terms of bridging the gap between crypto and fiat. I'll see you around in the next video.